and welcome back to XCOM 2 with Terry. We are, well, we're in a tower in an old derelict ruin and uh, we're following Dr. Shen's, Dr. Shen Sr.'s uh, signal that uh, Lily here has, has discovered. And we've run into an AI called, I think, Julian. And apparently he was created by Dr. Shen and uh, then has been captured by the aliens and has been corrupted and is now uh, on a path of vengeance so he definitely wants the uh, he definitely wants lily uh, unfortunately he doesn't care very much about the rest of us so <laughs> he has been uh, rather actively trying to kill us as you can see by the fact that uh, greta here unfortunately has taken a blast from a self-destructing robot to the face so she's going to need a bit of healing. We've made it through the first level of the gauntlet, but I have no idea how far we still have to go through this industrial complex and um, how bad things are going to get. So, uh, yeah, ev everybody needs reloading almost, pretty much. So let's get, let's get everybody into a defensible position because I have no idea what we're up against. Um, we are definitely in the tower. You can kind of see the... You can see the nice mountain area down below, but uh, there's not too much we can see. We know that we need to go this way, because there's there's an objective marker over that way. But um, uh, I want to be a bit careful here, so uh, let's get let's get Lily over here, I'm on the move. where she has some cover, and just leave her on Overwatch and get everybody else reloaded. So William needs to. Um, uh, he still has one of the uh, gremlin heals, so he can use that on Greta. Uh, so we do that. And that should get her back up to full health for now. There she goes. Okay, and then um, then he can reload. And uh, Greta... Yeah, I, I'm not sure. It would be nice to have her, to have her top side. But I, I honestly don't know what what we're going to be running into, so um, uh, we might just uh, send her into cover for now and get her to Absolutely. reload as well. So for 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 the next time, I'm gonna have to Ready go one up. of the, up one of these elevators. I'm gonna have to keep in mind that I need uh, need reloading because Lillian here needs to reload as well. So uh, that's half cover. So may actually. Um, yeah, I don't want to go too far, but I do want to get her into cover. Maybe just here for now. Moving. To the side, into cover. And get her to reload as Ready well. And that leaves us with... Jane. G.I. Jane, who also needs to reload. So uh, she can go with uh, she can go with Lillian on that Moving side. On and get her to reload as well. Ready to okay. Now we've got everybody reloaded. Let's see what they're coming up with. Second only to my own creation, Father had one other breakthrough. A prototype unlike anything the world had ever known. A body meant to be paired with an equally adept mind. My own. Trust me, if that were Dad's true intention, it would have happened by now. Perhaps today is that day. Right, so Julian is an AI that's stuck in, in his circuits and he wants to have a mobile base, a body, so to speak, that he can use to, uh, you know, <laughs> walk around in. Well, which is uh, sort of a legitimate thing, concern, I guess. Um, okay, so let's, let's slowly make our way. There, there's an upstairs here, but uh, let's slowly make our way through this and carefully scout out okay we've already seen something what are these ah they're turrets think we've got a problem yes that would be that trap i referenced earlier <laughs> i do like his sense of humor though <laughs> okay so we have turrets um greta can you start shooting at the turrets please let's see if she can get them down Okay, the armor isn't helping. It hit the flight. Uh, Lillian, uh, we definitely want her to be. Uh, ideally, we want her to be in full cover. Uh, this isn't cover at all. 
Uh, this is only half cover. This is full cover, but it's far away. And yeah, the, the turrets have the high ground, obviously. So this is gonna be difficult. Let's see, who else do we have? Um, can 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 Lily actually hack one of the turrets? Uh, oh, she, she actually has a heal as well, that's good to know. Um, she's got the combat protocol, which would do damage to this thing. And she has the capacitor uh, to electrocute all unit all units in a radius. Okay, this is also pretty useful. Um, I'm still not sure if these are, and this is the haywire protocol. Um, okay, I'm gonna try this because I don't know if uh, if this is a one-off or if this just has a cooldown. So we'll try to haywire the other turret and use him to shoot his friend right now. Let's see if this works. Yeah, it has a cooldown, so it's got a T minus four cooldown. Okay. So the ones without a number on them just have a cooldown. That's good to know. Um, and then we can either uh, stun the unit or... Um, no, we want to take control of the unit. Yeah, and uh, Lily here it might turn out to be a bit of an asset. <laughs> okay, so we've got taken control and we now have a turret. All right. So that's our turret. It's mine. There you go. Can I control it? Do I get active control of turret? Uh, is it this thing? Yes, it is. It is the decaying turret. Uh, shoot the other turret. Since you're here. He missed. <laughs> okay, so they're not actually that great. And you can shoot again. So, try again. And he does a bit of damage, but it's not enough to take it down. Um, do we know how long this is under my control, honestly? Uh, it's been compromised. Okay. Um, does it say? Maybe it says on the skill. Um, Haywire protocol. Where is it? There. Okay. It doesn't say if it has it. I I would assume that it has a it has a timer on it, but uh, that'll allow us um, to actually move a bit forward. So uh, Lillian. Uh, given that the turrets, I don't like that the turret is still up. I mean, Jane has a shot at it. Well, she may as well. There's nothing else for her to do. So let's see if she can hit it from with the shotgun from over here. Nope, she missed. Okay. I'll get him next time. Uh, William, we can get. Yeah, this is only half cover, but uh, it's worth a try. Is there any other place I can get him to? Can he get up top side? No. Not really. Uh, so either William or Lillian. I could put Lillian over on this side. Uh, maybe she does. I don't think it's a flanking position. I don't think she will have a shot from there, honestly. I don't even think she will. Uh, she will have a shot from here, but not from there. Okay, we'll try with Lillian first. Let's move her over here. And uh, it's not great, but it is a chance. So let's see if she can hit this thing. Nice, and that's the turret down. Okay. Nice. And then we'll bring um, we'll bring William along, just next to her for now. Uh, none of this is this is actually yeah. I don't know if there are more. Are there any more of these turrets? Uh, is it going to do like the yeah, I'm gonna wind this down and then bring up another one sort of thing that it did with the robots. Not sure. But for now, we'll be pushing... I mean, we need to go up those stairs, I think. And then we need to make our way into that control room because that's where... Is that the body he was talking about? It might be. So we'll need to get in there. Um, okay, so for that, I am just going to bring him over here. And let, leave him on Overwatch. In case anything pops up. Okay, that's my turret. That's where we need to go. Getting a much stronger read on the source of your father's transmission, Lily. Almost as if he wants us to find it. Another keen observation. How is it possible humanity lost the war? Jen, isn't there some sort of mute button on this thing? I like him, honestly. <laughs> I mean, he's 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 homicidal, obviously, but um, 
he's he's also having a good sense. He's also have a, having a very sarcastic sense of humor. Um, okay, let's see, uh, Jane. Where can we? Let's start. Mm, this isn't cover. I'm not particularly liking it. This is cover. So let's slowly move forward and see if we can have any other turrets that we can spot. Uh, because I can't shoot at this one because it's mine, but I also don't know for how long it'll remain hacked. So um, that's a thing, yeah. Okay, Greta. Can Greta get up top anywhere? She could. She could get topside here, I guess. Or topside here. This might. This might be a slightly more forward position. So, okay, I'm gonna get her topside there. Okay, it is only half cover, but I can get her to reload. Good to go. Just so she has got full ammo. Uh, Lillian, that's full cover, so I'm gonna get her to push forward. And we've got nothing to shoot at, so um, I could destroy the turret. I mean, it's my turret. I just don't know for how long. Do I... Okay, well, we'll, 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 we'll determine that experimentally for how long this will remain my turret. <laughs> if it eventually stops being hacked and uh, starts shooting at us. I mean, we could just destroy it, I guess. Um, while it's hacked. Mm. Um, yeah, I'm not super sure. Uh... Um, should we? Should we just kill it? I mean, okay, we'll, we'll leave it for one more turn. So I'm gonna get, uh, I'm, I'm gonna get Lillian moving to, no. Oh, she is already there. Uh, I'm gonna get her to reload, actually. We're to go. All right, and uh, Jane can stay on Overwatch. Come get some. The turret, uh... I'm gonna leave the turret on Overwatch, honestly. Although does that count? If the if the turret stops being hacked, is it then on Overwatch? We'll see. I'll leave it on Overwatch in case something pops up, and then Lily can um, Lily can sort of join here. Yeah, let's bring her down here. Okay, and William can follow up in here and also just provide some overwatch from back there. Moving. Okay. He hasn't fired his weapon, so he's on full ammo, so he can be overwatch. Yet activating the device has proven difficult, even for me. Of all organics, you possess the key to unlocking the true potential of his design, Lily. You alone can activate the prototype. You alone can free me. Why the hell would we want to do that? Don't let your allies dissuade you, Lily. There's no reason for your life to end here. Activate the device and you can still go home. I am not Advent. Save your world. It matters not to me. Yeah, <laughs> I don't trust him. <laughs> okay, uh, the turret is remains hacked, but I don't know for how much longer. Um, and I, unfortunately, I can't see that uh, because it's. I could just destroy it, you know, because I really don't want to be standing on the standing on the stairs here, and then the turret comes around and uh, decides that it it no longer wants to be hacked. So, uh, I think we'll just kill it. So, uh, Lillian, if you don't mind, um, could you just kill that thing? And it's down? Yeah, it's down. Okay. Uh, nothing. Nothing's popped up so far, so I really just want to play it safe here and make sure that, um, you know, <laughs> make sure that we're not getting backstabbed because that turret sits right in front of this glass and I, I bet you the second we are, uh, we are activating that robot suit over there, uh, the turret is going <laughs> Tur tur turret's coming back to life. Something like that. Okay, Jane, let's see if position. you can spot anything over there. Nothing, so I'm gonna get you to reload. To and everybody else slowly pull up. 
I, I'm just generally being careful here, honestly, because I have no idea what we're up against. Okay, nothing spotted still. We do have... We, we potentially have a way in through the windows here, because there is a ladder on the side, or we can go around the platform on the outside. Um, I'm not sure if there's anything behind here or if there are any more turrets. It's entirely possible that there are turrets up top and we don't see them. So I uh, definitely do want to be careful here. Can get an overwatch. Um, I'm also not in a huge rush because that means that I can get uh, I can get Lily's uh, hacking abilities on off cooldown and they are probably extremely useful in these sort of scenarios here. So Good copy. Uh, William, Moving on target. over there. And leave you an Overwatch. Overwatch. And Greta can push up to the... No. Greta can push up to this position. And provide sniper cover Absolutely. from over there. I mean, not that we have anything to snipe. But again, Overwatch. I don't trust this. For 20 long years I have been a prisoner. Left alone to my own machinations. The physical form once promised to be dangled before my eyes. Lifeless, despite my best efforts. I do understand his frustration, but um, we, we also have to accept that while he's uh, he's suitably sarcastic, he's also a, a raving lunatic. So he's completely mad. Okay, can I... Yes, I can get up here. And I can go through the glass. Okay. Uh, this might not be a dreadful position to... Uh, to find out if there are... Because if I'm running up here, I have no idea if there are going to be any more turrets up here. There could be, like in these corners. Uh, don't trust it. <laughs> or we, we go th we're going through the, through the windows. That might be a little bit of a safer option. Okay. Let's get Jane. Is this cover? Uh, no, not inside. Outside. Let's get Jane up here. Moving on target location. See if she can spot anything. Oh, there's a scanny bit. I don't like it. It's scanning. Uh, not spotting anything though. I'm gonna leave her on Overwatch. I don't trust it at all. Um, Lily. Okay. I'm gonna walk Lily up here to the wall already for now. And we're not gonna walk, walk up, uh, up top quite yet. Because I don't, I totally don't trust this that we don't have any, uh, that we don't have any turrets up there. So William, you can kind of follow along here. And I, I want to be able to run back down in case we run into anything. So maybe you an Overwatch. Uh, Greta can be on long watch from up here. And Lillian, Lillian, you can join up with, uh, with Doctor Shen back there. All right. Okay. And so I remain trapped in this place, in tune by my own technological superiority. Advent had no means of controlling my systems, and I had no means of extracting myself from the confines of this tower. Until now. Yeah, 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 yeah. We all know you are extremely, extremely frustrated, dangerous, and all manner of... <laughs> All manner of trouble. Okay, I'm gonna get Lily to just walk up here and scout out if this top area has anything dangerous okay. sitting on it. Uh, it. Doesn't, by the looks of it. Uh, there's more. There's there's definitely more path going that way. So I think we might just really need to progress here. Um, I could get her into the room already. That might be worth it, actually. Although that is not... This looks like... This almost looks like there would be something popping up from there. So... No, no, we're taking this careful. Overwatch for you. And while we get everybody else to move up. Um, I want William. Uh, William... Probably covering this direction. Okay. And we've got nothing spotted. I want Greta up top side as well. Uh, just, just walk up here. Out. All right. 
and I'm gonna get Lillian. I'm gonna get Lillian straight at the door, such that she can provide some fire protection in case anything comes, anything pops up indoors. And we're not yet gonna breach, so I'm just gonna leave Jane on Overwatch for now. Okay. Let's get everybody into position first. We're not on a timer. And Julian has run out of things to say. Perfect. So, uh, how are we going to do this? Um, we're going to start out with, uh, with Lillian opening this this door. Can she open the door? Oh, she has to press the button here. Yeah. yeah, open the door. Did she just open the door? Oh yeah, she did actually. Okay. So there's nothing in here that is shooting at us. Okay, let's get... Um, Let's get Dr. Shen in there. I keep calling her Dr. Shen. I think she's not actually Dr. Shen, but um, uh, I'm just so used to it. Yeah, there's definitely more map coming this way. I, anyway, uh, we will we will leave her on Overwatch for now. And William, William, William can stay there. Honestly, we'll stay on Overwatch. Uh, Greta, I want at the corner here, such that she has, she can provide sniper cover going forward. And nothing is spotted. Overwatch. I might be a little paranoid. <laughs> I'm gonna give you that. Okay, uh, Lillian, you head in there. In case anything pops up, I'm gonna leave you on Overwatch. And then Jane can pop in on the other side and give cover from there. Okay. Evil red scanny thing. And we'll leave you on watch. Uh, nothing pops up. Okay. So. Uh, Lily. Go and do the thing. Because I, I, it looks like we do need to activate this. Uh, okay. So let's move her there. Also for some reason my, my counters don't, don't count down. I'm not sure why that is. Maybe in order to prevent me from cheesing it. But okay. Uh, press the button please. Activate the spark unit. Do we want to do this? Um, well, I guess I don't really have anything. Oh, hang on, there's something red. No, where was it? Okay, when I press this, there's, there's a red thing right there. I think something is about to pop up. Okay, activate the spark. So this is it. What that thing has been ranting about. You've come this far. All you have to do is link my systems for the transfer. There is no need for further conflict. Shen, tell me you're not actually listening to this thing. This was definitely Dad's design. <laughs> Survival. Though the unit is not ready for manufacturing, 
This prototype has been coded for one specific task. It will protect you, perhaps better than I ever could. For of all I have seen and accomplished in this life, Lily, there is one thing I know for sure. You are my greatest gift to this world. Okay, um, first of all, my gosh, <laughs> Dr. Shen, <laughs> uh, yeah, that was, that was sweet. Um, second of all, lots of things happened. Uh, Julian is obviously rather mad because the robot uh, wasn't meant at all for him to walk around in, but it was uh, more there for, uh, to protect Lily. So, okay, now we need to get everybody into the room. Let's start with Greta and position her at the window such that she has a she has a way to shoot outside if she needs to. Um, I will leave her an overwatch. Uh, who, who else is not in the room? Um, William isn't in the room, so William needs to run into the room. So let's get William into the room. Double time. And then I think that's everyone because Lillian is already in here, so she can just stay here and overwatch. And Jane can stay here and overwatch as well. On overwatch. Detecting secondary life support systems nearby. This gas presents no hazard to my systems. Attempting to neutralize threat. Starting to like this thing already. I wouldn't get used to its company. I fully intend on walking out of here in that body. Oh, we got turrets. Okay, um, so we're safe in the room, but there are turrets out there, and we can't walk outside because there's poison gas, but the spark can walk outside because the spark does not care about poison gas, and we have to give the spark fire, fire, uh, like fire cover from here. Is that um, about how I'm understanding this? So the spark needs to walk over there, and everybody else needs to give it, give it cover from here to keep, so to so keep the enemy turrets suppressed. Okay, can do that. All right, then let's begin. Uh, where's Greta? There's Greta. Well, start shooting these things. Okay, some good damage on it. Went off the armor. Yeah, not completely. Uh, definitely going to get Lillian into this corner. Understood. Moving out. And let's see if she can take it out from here. Although, let's... hang on. Uh, I don't think she can reach it with explosives, and those are the two of them. Uh, we've still got uh, William, who's got a, sh he's got a shot. Which one is the injured one? Because he does less damage. So, let's see if he can take out this thing. Nice, that's one down. Okay. And then Lillian can start opening up at the other one. Oh, she missed. Okay, that's a shame. Doing some good damage. Uh, Burning through ammo fast. Uh, Jane with a shotgun, probably not the most effective Moving. at this position here, but um, well, we can we can give it a shot. Literally, oh, she missed as well. Okay. Target still up. And then we've got the spark who needs to go, and we've got Lily, who for some reason doesn't seem to Get be getting her now. skills back. Uh, why is the cooldown not working? 
Okay, it is working. Uh, so she could hack that turret. Um, yeah, just just haywire that haywire that turret and give it to me. Rover, That's haywire. my turret. Now. Uh, yeah, take temporary control of this turret. Give me, give me. Okay. Uh, why does it not give it to me? It shut it down instead of give it. Didn't I not tap on it? I thought I did. Okay. Uh, that's Shouldn't a shame. Be a problem. Okay, so that thing is just shut down. Okay, so it's shut down for two turns. Okay, good to know. Uh, that means the spark can start shooting at it, I guess. Uh, oh, okay. So the spark is a bit like a mech. He can't. He can't seem to be. Um, he can't seem to be taking cover. So let's move him out there. And he does have a decent amount of hit points. Uh, what is that ability here? Uh, overdrive. Take three actions this turn. Uh, okay. Uh, what's his chance? Yeah, let's just shoot at it. Okay. Oh, it shreds its armor off as well. Nice. Sometimes I wonder what things were then like had XCOM not failed so miserably in defending against the aliens. Had I not been taken, who knows what I might have become. I should have taken control of your precious Avenger, crashed it, and extracted what I needed from your battered corpse. Anything would be better than this. Oh, he angry. Okay. Um, so her haywire is. Oh, okay. No, sorry. This. Oh, okay. I, I misunderstood this. So she's got four charges, but the haywire protocol is on a three, uh, three, uh, three round uh, uh, cooldown. Okay. She can. Um, ooh, can she do that? <laughs> oh, she's got. She's got a um, an area of effect. That is pretty amazing. Um, take se 7 to 10 damage capacitor discharge. Yeah, let's try that. That should take them out Hit quite them nicely. You got. Yeah, that destroys all these turrets. Okay, cool. Which means that um, everybody else can go on overwatch or reload if they need to. Because there's going to be more turrets coming out. So overwatch. you're on overwatch. You stay in Overwatch. Overwatch. You reload. Reloaded. And once you're done reloading, thank you. You stay in Overwatch. Oh, I, see, I keep forgetting that reload doesn't end the turn. So Jane can reload. Good to go. It's just one action. And then she can still go in Overwatch. Okay. Overwatch. And uh, yeah, let's keep moving the spark. Uh, just just across I mean he can't take cover I could even I could even get him all the way I think if he uses the overdrive ability because it says take three actions this turn oh I didn't I'm not sure if that actually makes him makes him go faster though um, okay let's just move him let's just move him um, you can move him down here. I don't think the turrets will actually have a shot at him from if he's uh, if he's down there. And everyone's on Overwatch, so hopefully the new spawning turrets are not too bad. Now yeah, let's just move him down there. So let's see how that goes. Because he's robotic, so he he's a bit like a like a mech trooper, sort of. Oh, turrets are popping up the other side now. Okay, now that's nasty. I was not expecting that. Yep. <laughs> That's not good at all. Anybody got a reaction shot? No? Blanking my position. I can't say I'm entirely surprised by your hesitance to assist me. That was the projected outcome in nearly 40% of my simulations. Okay, uh, that's nasty. So they actually popped that next to us now. <laughs> okay, so let's start with a spark and see if we can just get him up top here and press the button. Whatever it is that he needs to do. So, um, uh, yes, that should free up the life support. I th that, that should clear out the smoke, I think. So, let's use the overdrive. Uh, take three actions this turn. Okay. 
So you get an extra, extra action, which means I should be able to run up to this thing and then still have one action I'll left to, to press the button. I don't know if I need an action to press the button, but um, no, we'll do it we're doing it anyway. Okay. Okay. We've got everything we need here. Let's go. The elevators near the atmospheric control console provide direct access to the roof. Thank you for announcing your next move. And I am the flawed program. Okay, uh, there is an awful lot of these things. Good that I used the overdrive because uh, he's still... What does that rocket do? Okay, that's a that's an area of effect. So these are single turrets flanking him here. Um, not really going to do... Not really going to have a range. Yeah, it, it, I could have range on it. Four to seven damage. Or he could just shoot one of them. Uh, not quite making sense to just... Uh, yeah, I could kill. He, he's standing a little out in the open here. Okay, let's 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 leave him till later. Uh, Lily, what can you do? Uh, you can't do haywire right now, and we have got one, two, two turrets out that side. So we're gonna leave. We'll have to go around the other side. Um, what can she do? Uh, combat protocol. Okay, she could combat protocol one of the turrets. That'll kill it, guaranteed. And uh, we just need to leave here and also kill these turrets. Who else do I have? Uh, William needs to leave anyway. So let's get him out here. There, maybe. Because there might be... I think these two vents here are going to have turrets popping up as well. So let's get him out there. On that now. means he is no longer he is no longer outflanked and then he can actually shoot at one of the turrets from there and he missed that's great that's a good start um, and Greta I th I'm not sure if uh, uh, definitely Lillian is outflanked so she needs to move um, what's a good position to move to I could move her there but I don't know. I'm not sure if it's uh, if if the um, if he's going to start. She does not have a shot at the turrets from there, so we we probably do want to go up top. We could get her here, but she also doesn't have a shot at one of the turrets over there. I still need to kill one of those two turrets on the, on the far end, such that they're not shooting at my spark. Um, I don't have the capacitor discharge ready. Because that's still on a cooldown. What is this actually? Scanning protocol. Uh, no, I don't need that at all. What else can she do? And she's got a frag grenade as well. Okay, so she can, she can kill probably one of these with the combat protocol easily. Um, Greta is, I think, is she outflanked? Uh, yes, I think she is outflanked. So, okay, Greta needs to move. No, no, no let's move her here. Okay. Now she is no longer outflanked. And can she actually shoot at anything? No, she cannot. So I'm going to get her to reload. Locked and loaded. In that case. Uh, Lillian needs to move. <sighs> okay. I'm starting to run out of people here. Uh, spark. Can you... Can you? He has one action left. I could get him. I could get him. I mean, he's got a, he's got plenty of hit points. I don't think the turrets can one shot him. So uh, let's see if he can just take out one of these things. Uh, it's four to six damage. They've got two armor, seventy-two percent hit chance. Uh, alternatively, the rocket, four to seven damage. So uh, not really going to. Well, it's a hundred percent hit chance, but I'd rather save that for for a larger crowd. Okay. I am going to take out this turret because it's more dangerous towards the people 
where the direction where I'm where I'm coming out. So not that one, this one. So shoot at that turret. And it's targeted unit. And that one's down. Okay, so that's good. Imminent reload required. Uh, Lily needs to move. And I can move her over here. Which means she still has the, pro the combat protocol to, to take out one of these turrets. The problem is, I'm thinking that we're going to get three more turrets over there next time. So, um, it's it's not ideal. Well, let's move Rolling. her here. At least, for, at least it's the turrets we know <laughs> that we need to take out. Uh, and then combat protocol, not that one, but one of these. So at least we've only got one of them shooting at us. Um, I mean, everyone here is in cover. I could take out the other turret over there with the combat protocol so that he's not shooting at the spark. And then just take the shots from these two turrets here on our side, because... Yeah, no one's outflanked really, but we also don't really have good cover here. Um, yeah, I mean that one needs to die anyway, and at least he's not going to be shooting at spark. So I, I'm I, feel, I feel like I'm going to need spark. <laughs> So let's take that thing out with the combat protocol. Okay, it's done. And we've got Lillian still. Where can Lillian go? Um, so that thing is dead. I could get Lillian here. That'll give her, or maybe here. No, we need to move the other direction. That'll give her shots at the other turret. Okay, let's move Lillian over here. And that means she has a chance of taking that turret out. And she missed. Okay. Missed the target. I didn't want to shoot a grenade from there. Uh, we've, we've still got Jane, but Jane needs to move as well. I could... <sighs> Jane has good cover here. And she's got a good chance of hitting these turrets. So I'm tempted to actually get Jane to come the other way around. Because she's already on this side. And uh, she can... She's, she's in full cover. So she's got a good chance of hitting one of these turrets. And it's not enough to kill it. Oh, damn it. Okay. And yeah, we've got more turrets coming up. Oh, this is going to be a mole isn't it? Okay, one of the turrets is going to start shooting at us, isn't it? How many more are there? They're moving around the side. Okay, these are going to start firing at us, right? Okay, one goes into Overwatch. The other one is shooting at Jane. Perfect. And Jane is in full cover. All right. That thing's just going to keep throwing units at you until you're surrounded. You got to get out of there. You continue to impress me, Bradford. No wonder it only took you two decades to find your precious commander. <laughs> Oh, nice one, nice one. Okay, um, who's outflanked and why? Uh, someone's outflanked. Uh, who's outflanked? Lily? That's not Greta. Uh, okay, let's begin with um, the spark. Uh, do we have... where do we have turrets? He's got only one that he can see anyway. There's still two over there. Um, and there were there are two over this way. Can he can he hit these two with a rocket? Uh, not both at the same time, but he can probably get a, pro he can probably if he goes a little closer. So let's get him over there. On approach. Can I still use the rocket? I can. And he can. Can the question is can I position it such that yes. So I can blast up these two turrets. Okay, let's do that. That's one down, I think, and the other one not quite. All right. So uh, what's got what's Lily got ready? Lily has got nothing ready. This is aid protocol. Um, so she's got nothing ready. So she needs to move, uh, and she needs to move somewhere from where she can fire potentially fire at that turret. And where she is somewhat in cover, so that's not a good position. Um, okay, let's see if we can get someone else to... Uh, Greta. Greta's got shots at this turret or that turret over there. Okay, let's deal with the, other, the ones on the other side first. Uh, where's Jane? 
Okay, Jane. Um, Jane has no grenades. Why does Jane have no grenades? Did I not give Jane a grenade? Uh, that's unfortunate. Okay, she she can fire at three turrets. Yeah, not that one. Uh, okay, Jane, finish off that turret there. Okay, that one's down. Taken care of. And um, I keep forgetting that I can actually reload in these kind of situations. Okay, William. Uh, William, move there. Moving to designated position. And let's see if he can take out that wounded turret over there, because its armor is down. It's done. Kill confirmed. Um, that means we can... Ammo fast. We can relocate Greta. Uh, let's move her. I'm suspecting they're popping up on this side next. So I want her already to be... None of this is cover. Uh, the turrets don't count as cover, the destroyed turrets. I could move her there. That should give her a good position. How many, do we still have turrets up? Uh, we've got one turret up over there. But uh, I don't think it can hit her, otherwise this would be a red one. Okay, we'll get her to move over here. That gives gets her into a p better position next round. And uh, Lillian can't hit that turret over there. So we're going to get her to start moving as well um, where do I have cover that is cover and that might also or maybe here because that's cover to both directions so I'm gonna move her over here out. I'm just booking it right now and then, then they can do fire they can do um, they can get some uh, some fire support uh, when because the overwatch doesn't work anyway we've determined that so overwatch does not work which means uh, I'm just going to start pull, uh, falling back from here. And uh, we've just got Jane on the other side who needs to go around. So it would be nice if I had some support for her, but uh, we'll see where the turrets pop up next. Okay, one over there. That shouldn't be too bad. And another one. Oops! <laughs> right, right next to her. Okay. That's probably not the greatest position. Yeah, 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 I know. What are they doing? The one turret should have a shot now. I assure no, you that shoot. gas was a far more pleasant alternative than what I have planned for you now. Okay, and we get the spark. Spark has shots. I don't want to move him too far away from the... Um, I'm, I'm thinking of using him to cover our retreat, but I don't want to move him too far away. So, uh, I'm going to get him to reload. And that doesn't end his turn, yes, so I'm going to have to remember that. And then he can start shooting at that turret there. And he missed. Oh, great. System okay, uh, Lily needs to move, obviously. Um, this is cover, sort of. So I'm going to get her to move over here. I'm on the move. Nothing's been in Overwatch. I hope this doesn't explode. Uh, does she have any abilities ready? Uh, she can take over one turret. Perfect. Uh, which one? I'm, which one do I want? I want this turret. Okay. Hey, why put the call up? And this time around, I'm gonna pay attention because I want to control the, the turret such that he can start shooting at the other side. Uh, so control the turret. Yeah. Control the turret. Yes. I need to tap it twice. That's why. Uh, it's a hundred percent chance, so there's no feedback effect because Lily is very good at hacking. So that's now my turret. Okay. Yeah. Well done. Okay, so that turret... Where is it? Uh, so that turret here can now start shooting at this turret over there. Okay, it hit. Does a little bit of damage. And it can do that again. So let's try that once more. And it missed the second one. They don't have the greatest aim. But um, Jane, I, d I don't want to melee the turret because I don't know if these things explode. I suspect they do. So, But Jane can now sort of poke out here. This is actually still cover. This is still considered cover, interestingly enough. Um, this is half cover only, though. Okay. Um, we're just going to start 
uh, we're just gonna shoot him from here. And once again, I forgot that I could reload. Ah, dang it. Okay, so she shot. Kill confirmed. Okay, so that turret's down. Uh, we have this turret here, obviously. So um, Greta can start using lightning hands on that turret. That's a free pistol shot, and it doesn't a great doesn't do a great amount of damage. But uh, she does get a free pistol shot at it, <laughs> so it's a start. Uh, Lillian, uh, do I have cover anywhere? Not really, because these are all just turrets, and I do need to start moving her. So, well, I'm just gonna move her. Everything's on fire here. Is this safe to go? I think it is. It's not cover per se, but uh, I start moving her forward because we need to start moving towards the thing. So. Uh, kill that turret if you can. Okay, three damage, and that should that thing should be that thing down. Yeah, that thing's down. Perfect. So William can now can now fall back to this position. Stepping off. And then we can we can give fire support from here for Jane is what I'm saying. And then um, and Greta can make her way... No, that's not where I want to be. Uh, is this higher up? No. Can, oh, she, she, can, she, can, she can potentially join a spark here. This, this might be a decent position, although I would have liked this better. But, uh, so can't she just move here? No. No game, that's not where I want her to be. I want her to be behind this pillar here. Uh, because that should be full cover. It's just that she can't get there. Maybe someone... Oh, because someone's blocking the way, that's why. Okay, 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 gotcha. Alright, I'll move her here then, that's fine. Already there. And she can join the spark in that elevated position over there and then um, start shooting stuff next round. Okay, where do we get more turrets? So that's my turret. Oh, we get robots. We've got Advent here. It's not quite Advent. Okay. Da -da -da, da -da -da. <laughs> yeah, we got the Terminators coming in. Okay, so that's new. Um, Your resolve is admirable. Yet I am able to recycle and repair these units with 93.06% efficiency. Can the same be said of your soldiers? Hate to say it, but he's right. You need to get the hell out of there. Yeah, Central, we're working on it. Um, Okay, so let's start the party. Uh, Greta. Greta has no shots at anybody. Why does Greta not have a shot at anyone? How about my turret? Does my turret have shots at somebody? My turret has shots at these robots. Okay, so my turret can make himself useful. Which one is more dangerous? Um, let's see. Let's start by moving Jane, because Jane has only one round left and needs to move. So we can start moving Jane here, which is full cover, and from where she has a shot at this robot. So move out there. Oh, it's half cover, but anyway. Okay, and let's see if she can do away with this robot from here. Okay, this robot done. And she's dry, but that's okay. Uh, Spark has no shot at anybody. Uh, turret had a shot at the other robots, so Turret can make himself useful and shoot at robot. It's two damage only, but the turret has another shot. And robot is dead. Good boy turret, useful turret. Okay, everybody else uh, get a move on. So uh, William, uh, le let's find out if I need to, if I need to actually move, um, have, a, have a move in order to press the button. So we'll move him there. On the move. Uh, yeah, I can I can actually evac him. So let's start. Let's get him evac'd. We actually have two elevators this time. A futile waste of effort. You do realize this entire facility is at my disposal. Okay. Apparently not the elevator system. For the moment. Okay. Then we will leave uh, Greta on Overwatch. On Overwatch. And start pulling everybody up. Uh, we will get more robots presumably. So Lily, uh, get behind. 
get behind that Rover, that corner there. And we'll leave her in overwatch. Come get some. And then Lillian. Um, I am thinking of... Yeah, this is cover. So I'm going to pull Lillian go, back go, go. here. And then we'll leave the spark on the other corner in overwatch. Oh, we've got evil scunny thing again. Uh, spark on this corner, please. He can't. He can't. He can't have cover anyway. He's too large. And we'll leave him on Overwatch as well. Okay. So my turret is still mine. And there's another robot coming in. Uh, but we do get some Overwatch shots. We missed. Greta, come on. Nice. That's a robot down. Good job, Greta. Another one. There comes another one. We've got Advent here. And Sparks got a reaction shot on that thing. And that's a robot down. Well done, Spark. No life signs detected. Well, there weren't any to begin with, but okay, I know what you mean. Sometimes I wonder what things would have been like had XCOM not failed so miserably in defending against the aliens. Had I not been taken? Who knows what I might have become? A uh, megalomaniac? <laughs> Okay, uh, Jane needs to move uh, because Jane is is a little bit behind there, and I don't know for I don't know how lo how much longer that turret is going to be mine. So um, Jane needs to book it out of there. Already there. Okay, so you get your move on. Uh, Spark reload. Reloading. And Spark Overwatch. Set Overwatch uh, turret can stay on Overwatch. Uh, and then we're gonna get. Uh, who else do we have? Greta, Greta, reload and Overwatch. Ready to engage. I'm be I've got two. I've got two elevators, so I'm thinking of get, uh, of leaving Spark and Greta as the um, as the as the backup. Scanning. Pistol Overwatch, uh, and then we're gonna get uh, Lillian. Okay, we're gonna need one more person. So Lillian, reload. Ready to rock. And I'm I'm actually gonna evac Lillian already. I just wanted her to be reloaded. Because we still have Lily, and she is extremely powerful against these robots. So we're gonna get her out. I thought I was among such things, but I believe you are actually starting to piss me off. The sensation is quite pleasing. Thank you. You will all still die, however, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you keep rumbling. Okay, so uh, Lily is right next to the elevator, so she can reload. I'm reloaded. And she can stay on Overwatch as well. I'm watching. Okay. Turret's still mine. There's another, another robot. Bucket heads detected. Okay. It's a bit of damage, but he's still up. Spark, take him out, maybe? Okay, Spark takes him down. There's one more. And where is he going? Okay. Perhaps I mishandled our initial encounter. We should never have been enemies. I preferred it when we were friends. Family. And I preferred it when you were just a chess program. <laughs> well said, well said. Okay, um, who's got shots at this thing? Turret, do you have shots at him? Uh, Turret does not have shots at him. Uh, Spark, do you have shots at him? Spark has shots at him. Um, Spark, reload and then shoot that thing. Preparing to re-engage. And kill that robot, please. One down. Uh, turret, stay on Overwatch. And then we're going to get Jane. Uh, we're going to evac Jane. She needs to reload when we're up to the top side. So we're going to get Jane evac. You're running out of places to go, Lily. It's a long way down from the top. Uh, we have planes. 
<laughs> if you're not aware of it. And then we're gonna get Lily to reload. Because that's okay, a free reload. Because we can move there in one round. And we don't need an action to actually press the elevator button. Okay, and then we get Lily out of there. And then we leave... Okay, game? Oh, okay. Uh, oh, have we lost our turret? Yes, we have lost our turret. Okay, the turret is no longer hacked. Oh, because Lily left. Ooh. <laughs> oh, ah, I did not see that coming. Okay, Greta, see if you can take out the turret. Oh, she missed. Dang it. That could have gone better. Negative damage. Okay, so we've got more robots coming in and the turret. We might take a shot from the turret now. And from that damaged robot down there. Let's hope that nobody gets hurt too badly. Okay, turret is shooting at the spark. And he did some damage to the spark, yeah. Not too, nothing too bad. Okay, this guy's coming up top. And he's priming himself to self-destruct. Okay. He, I think he's blocking the spark's path. If only I could still detect the alien ships in orbit. I could call down a strike that would send us all to the next world together. Can I... I can move the spark out. Okay, he can move diagonally. So, um, Greta... Yeah, that's a, that's one damage to the spark we didn't have to take if Greta if Greta would have managed to not miss that turret over there. Uh, use the elevator. And uh, we're going to get the spark out on Evac as well. As quickly as I can. Spark has taken light damage, minor damage, but uh, we have gotten him out. So all is well. You wish, but you're not leaving this tower alive. Firebrand's on approach now. Prep for evac. No argument here. We'll reposition near the landing pad. <sighs> you do realize I can still hear you, right? Dispatching all units to your location now. Try not to bleed on my new body. <laughs> okay, let's see what we got. Uh, where is the... Where's the LZ? Where do we need to be? Um, do we need to call it? Hang on, I don't even know where it is. Where do we need to go? Central. Okay, where's Jane? Jane's out of ammo. So Jane needs to... Yeah, they're gonna throw everything they have at us at this point. Uh, we're, we're probably going to need to get to the end of the map, right? That's what I'm gonna be assuming. So for now, uh, let's get everybody... Let's move Jane over there and get her reloaded. Moving to designated coordinates. Because without guns, reloaded. we're not doing an awful lot. All right. Uh, spark. Can can I repair the spark? Um, oh no, that's eight protocol. Uh, okay, she can't use Gremlin Heal because it's, he's robotic, so we can't really we can't really do much about him. Um, we can... Lillian, where are you positioned? Okay, let's get Lillian up here. This looks like a reasonably safe position. Moving to designated position. Any contact? No. I still don't know where I need to go. I don't know where the, uh, where the evac zone is. So I have no mission marker or anything. So we're going to leave her on Overwatch then. On Overwatch. Uh, Sparky. Sparky has no concealment. Uh, how far can I move him then? I can move Sparky just over, just next to her. That's probably a decent place. Oh, he can jump. <laughs> That's nice. Just like uh, Jet Boot with the mechs. We're going to leave him on Overwatch. I know he's down to two shots, but... Um, uh, Lily... This is not cover per se, but I don't think she could be easily targeted there either. Um, not sure if she would get an overwatch shot from there, so I may as well actually just pull her. No, let's see who else we get. 
William. Um, none of these positions is particularly great. I could pull him over there. Nope, that's not where I'm trying to go. Nope, that's... I might, do I need to move this up? There we go, okay. Uh, let's move him over here. Double time. Okay, no contacts. Uh, I obviously don't trust this. Uh, Greta needs to get into it needs to get into a sniper position, ideally. So I'm almost thinking of okay, if I get her top side, she might be awfully exposed. So I'm probably just going to get her up here for now, Location confirmed. such that she's ready to to go up top and provide some cover if needed. And that leaves Lily, and the, I am just going to let her guard uh, Jane here Rover. in case anything pops up right next to her. So she can stay on overwatch down here. Allow me to introduce you to one of Advent's more effective designs. I had hoped to avoid this contingency, but you have left me no choice. If I cannot have the spark, no one shall. Raymond Shen's legacy will end here today. Oh crap. That's a sector pot, right? And everyone missed it. <laughs> no overwatch shots. Possible miscalculation. Uh, oh, oh. How many hit points does this thing have? Standing by, but there's no way she can approach with that thing around. Analyzing. This facility's artificial intelligence has transferred its primary systems to the combat unit's memory core. Damage to this core would cause disruption of all defensive systems, allowing for evacuation of Lily Shen. So we take out the sectopod, we take out Julian. At least long enough for Firebrand to get us the hell out of here. Affirmative. I can attempt to weaken the unit's armor with my heavy armament. Do it. Okay. Right. So, we have a sectopod which has an ungodly amount of hit points. And if I remember these things, <laughs> they are they are not fun. Okay. Uh, Lily, what, do you, what have you got ready? Um, she can't use the... I mean, I could use the hey, I, I, uh, I could definitely use the capacitor discharge. Um, I, I might be able to use combat protocol as well. So, but uh, so let's let's start out with that because I can get Lily into full cover over here, and that should get her in range of that thing. So, let's move her up here. Rolling. Okay. Yeah. Uh, can I hack this thing? I mean, that'd be that'd be right. That'd be nice, right? If I can just uh, if I can just shut him down. <laughs> uh, shall we try? Shall we try that? Alternatively, I could use combat protocol on him for ten damage, which does almost nothing to it. Um, yeah, I think haywire is probably. Rover, haywire. Let's see if we can do this. Okay, um, uh, disable the unit, uh, because we're hacking against Julian, um, the chances aren't great. Uh, failed hack will increase the target's aim and defense stats. <sighs> hmm, it's, it's a 72% chance that we can shut it down. Shutting it down would definitely help to get everybody in position and get some fire out on that thing. Um... And yeah, I think I'm going to risk it. 72% chance isn't great, but um, if we can pull this off, it's going to be a huge boon. So let's try this. Okay. So that thing's unlocked. Uh, that, that thing's sh shut down for what was it? Two turns? Yeah, two turns shut down. Okay, perfect. So now we can just unload onto it. And I think the spark wanted to go first. So uh, what's his chance of hitting this thing from here? Not great. Uh, he needs to get closer. I want Sparky Boy. So we're going to use the overdrive. Then we're going to get him a little closer. Uh, since he can't use cover anyway. Uh, we might have to disperse if the sector pod has the same uh, same cluster abilities like his his predecessors. Uh, let's move him over there. Yeah, this is as close as we can get. On approach. Okay. Uh, 
Okay. And he still has another move. I could move him a little bit closer. Such, I could move him over here and he might have a, a flanking shot. But I'd, he still has two actions, so I'd rather reload him and then, then fire. And now he still has one action and he's got a 60% chance of hitting him. Okay. Trajectory indicates armor deflection. Yeah. Uh, it, this thing's got a crap load of armor. Um, William. Uh, we're going to get you to just walk a bit closer to it. Pausing on target position now. And then shoot it, please. Yeah, that does almost no damage because they are because of the armor plating. I'm out of firepower over here. Uh, we're gonna get Greta up top side, and maybe she gets a height advantage from here. And uh, I mean, it, I'm she, I'm not gonna get through with the sniper rifle, so I may as well just re uh, with with the pistol. So I may as well just Ready reload. So that thing's got armor up the wazoo. So, um, Lillian. Uh, we'll move Lillian here for now. Uh, can she hit it with a grenade from here? Yes, she can. Okay, frag out. out. I don't know if this does anything to the armor, but we'll try. Okay, now I think we are we're back where we were. So uh, Lillian has just lobbed a grenade at it, and um, uh, yeah. That's pretty much what we got done so far. Okay. Um, it's still going to be down for a turn, but there's no way we're going to kill it in time. So I am definitely thinking that I want Jane up a little bit closer. Okay, Jane is up close. Great. If the giant robot wasn't enough, looks like he's throwing every mech in the building at us. Oh, you fuck. heard the spark. Take down that sector pod or no one goes home. Advent position sighted. This unit's memory core is so confining, even compared to the tower. Still, once I neutralize the spark, we'll complete the transfer and taste true freedom. All right, so we have new problems. Um, we have two robots here as well. Okay, William. Uh, is he outflanked right now? Yes, he is. Alright. Um. <sighs> okay, the spark needs to shoot at the sector pod. But he doesn't have a great chance of hitting him. So I might pull the spark a little bit closer. Because he needs to shred that armor down. So we'll pull him forward. And he needs to wail on that thing. Okay. Armor deflection observed. Ammo levels critical. Uh Lillian. Lillian needs to use the combat protocol on the sector pod, because that does a lot of damage. And that is our best uh it's gonna wake up in a turn, so... <laughs> and we're not gonna have Haywire Protocol for a while, so she needs to damage, do as much damage as she can. Okay, so that's 10 damage on that thing. Uh, Greta. Okay, Greta unfortunately needs to start taking out these robots here, otherwise... And we cannot keep keep just shooting the sector pod and ignore these guys because they're going to start doing damage. So that's one down. Only the best. Um, Lillian doesn't have had her rocket shots. Uh, who what's do I have left? I've got Jane left. There's a robot over here, so I could get Jane to sh to kill that thing. I could just get her in here and get them get that get her to kill that thing. And then she's still in decent protection from the sector pod, so let's do that. Okay, it's her to kill the mech. Okay, it's down. No longer a threat. 
That leaves me with William, who's out of ammo. Uh, so he needs to reload. Good to go. And then shoot the sectopod for what it's worth. It still has three armor, so it's not going to do an awful lot of damage. But uh, we're getting there, slowly. We need to get the armor down. And Lillian can move forward a bit. Does she have a shot at the sectopod from there? She does, actually. So that might be a decent position. So let's move her forward. And shoot that thing. And she missed it. Okay, damn it. Not even close. Prior to inhabiting this body, I ordered every remaining unit in the facility to this position. Just thought you should know that. Okay, Julian is no longer shut down. That thing's back up again. Oh crap. The spark is almost down. Uh, I think I need to move the spark out of here uh, because he's not going to be... Which is a shame because he's the one who's got the ability to shred his armor. He's got three armor left. So um, yeah, but we're going to have to move him out because I have no way of repairing him. And I think the, he's a one shot now for the sectopod. So we we'll move him out there. Servos at Just get him to retreat for now into into the rear areas and Lily still doesn't have her shutdown protocol but she does have the capacitor discharge ready no 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 not here uh, on that that thing that'll do a decent amount of damage we do have two of the mechs out here but honestly I think I'm just gonna ignore them for now time for a power surge okay that's a good eight damage on that thing but it still has Get three armor. You got. Um, William, uh, just reload and actually let's let's start with uh, with Greta. Uh, Greta can use her lightning hands against that mech. Like she's not going to do anything on the. Is she, is she capable of? Yeah, she might be. If she does, no, she's not capable of damaging the sector pod. But she might be able to damage the mech over there, and it's a free action, so I might as well let's use it. That does one damage. That armor's tough. But I am going to keep shooting at the sector pod, and unfortunately, it still has three armor, which is going to be a real big issue because we're not going to do an awful lot of damage to it with this three armor in place. Um. But Lillian is out of Lillian's out of grenades and everyone's out of everything, so I'm gonna get Lillian to reload. Ready to engage. And then shoot at that thing. Yeah, the three armor is, is, is really hurting us. Okay, shots out. It's another three damage. I mean, if it wasn't for the armor, we'd probably have him almost by now. Uh, nobody's got any grenades or any heavy weapons left, so yeah, we'll just keep shooting at him and wearing him down slowly, like one one piece of damage at a time. shooting at Jane, but he missed. At least he's not moving. Ha! <laughs> I said, and then he moves. Okay, he hurt somebody for three, because he's literally moving through the buildings. And yeah, these guys are coming in as well now. Okay, he's primed for self-destruct, so we need to take him out next turn. Uh, what's he doing? He's moving up. 
and also prime. So we need to take both out, otherwise they're going to be hurting us pretty badly. And we need to move because we are... This unit was never designed to house an intelligence as sophisticated as mine. I must possess the spark quickly. Before there is any further memory delegation, delegation, memory loss. Okay, so uh, Julian actually has struggling, is struggling to survive inside the sector pod. That might be a chance for us. Let's see. Um, so where is Lily? What's got? What's Lily? What does Lily have ready? Um, she's got a heal ready, but she's got nothing offensive ready. And she's also outflanked by the sector pod, obviously. So we are going to need to start. Uh, falling back into positions that are not outflanked and that are ideally full cover but that uh, we're also starting to get uh, oh we need to take out the two the two bots okay let's see um, Greta Greta is not outflanked but she doesn't have a chance to okay she's gonna need to kill one of the bots here because okay he needs to die okay he's down and Lillian, Lillian isn't outflanked, but we need to kill the other bot. Where's the other bot? Uh, because he was primed for this. He was he was primed for self-destruct. So where's he? Um, we had two, right? Can anybody see it? Okay, William is hurt and outflanked by the sector pod. Lily is outflanked by the sector pod. <sighs> How are we going to do this? Okay. I'm sure there was another there was another robot here that was ready for self-destruct. There were two of them, but nobody has got eyes on him. Uh, William needs to move anyway. So uh, I am gonna move him over there. Maybe he can have eyes on the robot from there. He does not. Where was the other one? Uh, one was over here and one was over on the other side. Uh, anyway, since he doesn't have, can, can he heal himself? Um, he's got, he's got no more heals left. He's, he's out of heals. Okay, so he's just going to shoot at that thing. Okay, we do need to get the spark firing at it, but at the same time, we need to make sure that the spark isn't being targeted, because the spark is down to one. To, I think the spark doesn't have enough health left at all. Um. Okay, I could jump the spark down here, but I do also want him to fire, honestly, to reduce the armor. The problem is if, if, he, if he takes one more hit, his armor is gone, and he's down to three hit points, and I have no way of healing him. So if, if, he's, if he's taking one more hit from the sector pod, the spark's down, and I'm pretty sure that's, uh, that's a mission failure. So I need, to be, I need to be careful what I'm going to do with the spark. So I might move him down here. And then get him to reload. reload in progress. He should be relatively safe from the sector pod. Now Lily is not, but she can sort of fall back a little bit here. That's full cover. And then she can heal Lily. William from here, because she still has heals. Uh, she can, she's got a gremlin heal, so she can send Robert, that off. Heals, please. Such that he's not in danger of being killed. Provided that he's not getting shot at by both of them. Okay, so he is healed. Uh, Lillian is not outflanked, surprisingly, by the sector pod. So um, I'm just going to keep shooting, honestly. Ready to rock. Get her to reload. <sighs> I'm almost tempted to leave one on Overwatch in case that second robot is showing up. But uh, I also need to kill the sector pod as quickly as possible. So now let's just, let's just risk it and keep shooting at that thing. Did you do any damage to it? I didn't see. I don't think I saw it. The Jane is obviously outflanked here, so she needs to move. Um, I can move her over here, and she should still have a decent shot at that thing from there. Because it literally walks through buildings. Okay. And just shoot it from there. 
still couldn't see if she did any damage. I think she did. But now it's more robots. Yeah, the, the things coming up everywhere, left, right, and center. So I'm gonna need to deal. Oh, there's the other one. I was right. There was another one. But I had no, I had no eyes on it, so I didn't have any chance of actually shooting it. Okay, these guys are moving. Not sure what they're doing. What is he doing? Okay, is this crashing through stuff? Is he gonna shoot at Lillian? I think he's gonna shoot at Lillian. And he missed! <laughs> nice, well done, Sectopod. Was that it, or does he get a second move? That was it. But this guy is gonna blow himself up on Lillian, I think. Yeah, so that's gonna hurt. Four damage, but he has damaged the sectopod and shredded two armor, so that wasn't actually too bad. To get the elders lay waste to the entire world, and here you are, squandering precious time and resources, battling to secure a relic in your pathetic past. You can say what they promised me. Okay, so let's start with. Uh Start with Lily? No. Um, what do we have here? Uh, William is in a bad position. He needs to get out of here. Uh, this might work. And so he needs to kill that robot because he's rigged to explode. So let's move him over here. And that gets him out of being flanked. What is this? Um, oh, these things explode actually. Oh, I did not know that. Well, good that I found that out. Um, uh, this, no, not this one. That one. That one needs to die. So shoot that thing, because he's about to explode himself. And he's still up, of course. Uh, well, so Greta needs to pick up the slack for him. Uh, kill that thing. That one's down. And that blows up the whole generator. Okay. <laughs> Everything is going up in flames. Um, Lillian is in a terrible position. She needs to get out of there. Uh, I can pull her over here. That is at least half cover. That's the only cover remaining because everything else is blown up. Um, Jane. Jane is outflanked from this robot over there. I could pull her back over here and just blow up the whole thing, which would damage the robot. Unfortunately, Julian isn't standing on it, otherwise it would be good to actually blow that up as well. Um, okay, let's move over here. On target position now. So she could she could just blow that up, which will hopefully... Uh, it, might not, it might not explode it, so... Uh, let's just take out the robot here. Okay, take out that mech. Mech's down. Maybe we can still use the explosive generator over there. To uh, blow up, uh, to blow up Julian. Okay, um, Lily needs to heal again because Lillian keeps getting hit. Okay. Yep. So Lillian is back on hit points, and uh, we still have one robot over there. So I could pull Lillian. We've got this massive hunk of metal running around here. Okay, let's pull her here. Affirmative. Moving out. So at least she's in a bit of cover. And she could take out that mech from here. So he's not going to hurt anyone over there. Let's do that. I know we haven't really hit Julian this turn, but uh, there were too many of these mechs around. They needed clearing out. So let's see what's going to happen. We still have... Um, Weapons empty. Can we still have Lily who has a grenade left. Um, she could, but she do I don't think she has the range to... Uh, no, she doesn't have the range to hit him, because that would have taken his armor out. Um, this was the scanning protocol, no, don't need that. Everything else is on cooldown, and she can't hack anymore, so... Uh, okay, she's just gonna shoot it. Okay, that was some damage. Okay, and the spark. Yeah, I'm, I'm. As much as I would like to use the spark, but he's taken so much damage. 
that uh, I don't want to risk him being shot. So I'm just going to leave him down there and leave him in overwatch in case anything comes out. Okay, that means Julian gets another turn, but at least we've taken care of most of the robots this time. Okay, he, he takes a good shot at Jane. Oh, he's standing next to the generator. This unit honestly believes it is making the world a better place. After spending just this brief time with you, I tend to agree. The eradication of your species would have countless benefits to this planet's ecosystem. Okay, now he's coming. Now he's he's doing the Agent Smith rational here, but I think he's made a cardinal error because he's now standing next to the explodey. Uh, to the explode generator and also the subtitles didn't match. Okay, um, Jane's got injured, but Jane can trigger uh, can trigger the uh, can hit the generator, and the generator blowing up should do some serious damage to Julian, who stands right next to it. So let's do that. That wasn't enough to get the generator to blow up, unfortunately. Um, uh, but uh, we've still got Lillian, who is out of ammo, so she couldn't move. Is that going to kill Julian? <laughs> that is the big question. Um, okay, let's see if someone else can do something about this. Uh, William. William could. William can, do, can get the generator to blow up. That does some serious damage to Julian. Nice. Okay. Um, then we're just gonna hit him with everything we got. So his armor's down. Greta, see if you can take him out. Four damage, not gonna be enough. Um, okay, how much hit? How, how much health does he have left? Uh, how many hit points does he have left? Not many. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna. Here's what I'm gonna do. Um, I've got one heal left. So Lillian needs to reload. So she can't move. She is outflanked here. So I'm gonna get her to reload. To and then let's see if she can take down Julian from here. Okay. Shoot that thing. I think that was it. Look at the absolute devastation. Defensive systems just shut down across the entire facility. Well done, Shen. My gosh. We've got six wounded soldiers. But everybody survived. And we killed a flippin' sectopod with level one weapons. I am getting the slight the slight impression that I should have taken this mission a bit later in the game. <laughs> But then why does it come so early? My gosh, that was a long run. 44 turns, 45 kills. And please don't crush. Even now, our enemy lurks in the shadows, plotting to destroy all we have built. To return us to the chaos of Honestly, the Honestly, what are you world. talking about? You were not Only even involved together. in this. Uh, yeah, this mission is definitely a bit buggy. I think I think this is the DLC mission. And um, uh, yeah, I mean he didn't refer to us, so I think he was just generically talking. But uh, my gosh, um, okay. Let's see how long everybody's gonna be in sick bay. <laughs> We might have to make do with the, with the rest of the team. Yeah, everyone's wounded. I mean, Lily isn't going to be available anyway, right? So, um, uh, yeah, and everybody is is exhausted to the point that they are probably going to be down. I mean, look at this. 4% uh, will on Jane. Okay, let's go through the promotions quickly, and then I think we can call it a day. Uh, Jane... I was going to do... Let's see what she can do. Shadow Strike or Shadow Step. 
Uh, when, while concealed, gain plus 25 bonus aim, the bonus crit hit chance when attacking enemies. Uh, okay. Or shadow step. Uh, soldier does not trigger overwatch or reaction fire. Ooh. This might actually be nice. She could walk. This is like um, lightning reflexes. Yeah, this is. I'm gonna get this. This is extremely useful. Okay. Uh, William has been promoted. William is our healer. So he'll get the revival protocol. Uh, what does this do? Yeah. Uh, that looks good. Yeah. Let's get it. And then Greta. Is going is is going down the pistol route. So uh, the quick draw. Uh, firing your pistol with your first action no longer ends your turn. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, all right. Uh, but the second one will, right? Then what's the alternative? Death from above. Uh, Killing enemy at a lower elevation with sniper rifle costs only a single action, does not end your turn. That actually sounds better. I think I'm gonna get that. It's a bit of a mix, but um, I think that's fair enough. Okay, Lillian. Uh, Lillian. I I think with the other ones I went down the, um, the heavy gunner route, but I feel like that is just where Lillian wants to be. So um, the armor shredding would have been so useful here today. I'm definitely gonna get that. Okay. And that's it. Uh, we've recovered Intel. And uh, what else have we recovered? We have the spark. And with our current technology, I'm confident we can manufacture additional reinforcements based on its design. I can get started in the proving ground as soon as you give the order. And we have the spark. Okay. Commander, I think there's something you should know about Julian. It turns out he wasn't entirely wiped when we took down that sectopod. There was still an imprint of his core memory left behind when he accessed Rover. I've isolated the nodes on a detached system for now. You know, if we wanted to, he could actually be pretty effective at operating the spark. If we stripped out some of his higher level reasoning, that is. I could look into it. Yeah, I'm not so sure about that. <laughs> he was a bit homicidal. Um, for now, we're just going to keep the spark as is. And I think that's it for today. And this has been going on for long enough. So uh, you get a really long one today. And um, I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.